Welcome to RTIP 31, and we're going to be covering the data table backend to dplyr. So dplyr is an awesome tool for data wrangling, and dt or data table is also an awesome tool in R for data wrangling. A lot of times people put these at odds, but actually there's this new package called dtplyr that integrates data table into dplyr. So if you know dplyr code, you can type data table code. So today what we're going to be doing, we're going to analyze uh, average city fuel mileage by engine size. And we're going to use the data table package um, to be able to do this uh, through the DT plier. Okay, so let's get started. The, um, the first thing that you need to do, if you want to get this code, you got to sign up for our weekly R tips. There's a link in the comment section. So you're going to uh, go here to the link. Um, it's going to ask you for your email, you type it in, and then you get access to the GitHub library. Now our GitHub library is massive now. We've got lots of our tips. Uh, we're on 31. And uh, what you're gonna do is do a git pull, and it's gonna pull down your files. Once you do that, uh, we can get started with the tutorial. So um, this is the plot we're gonna be making, and uh, let's get started. So. Uh, the first thing with data table is we need to make a lazy data table. So we've got some data that we have read in. Um, in this case, it's a data set called MPG. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this lazy DT function to convert it to a local data table. So it still kind of looks like a, um, a, a tibble. So this is what the, the data looks like without. Um, it's a tibble, 234 by 11. Uh, and it's got my manufacturers, my car manufacturers, models, displacement year, and so on. Um, and when we convert it to a lazy DT, what this does is it, it actually converts it to a data table. So it still looks similar. It gives us kind of like the printed output, but we'll notice down here, it's a, um, it's a data table. And you see this underscore DT3 local data table is the source. So we're gonna save this as MPG DT. And what this is, is a call to data table. And as we now start using our normal dplyr code, um, so I'm just going to do this first step next. What we're going to be doing is doing a little summarization. So we do often group by and summarize. So I'm going to run this. And you can see here what it's doing is it's creating calls to that data table. And it's going to show you what they're going to look like. And then if I do the MPG group by summarize across here, uh, it, you can see that this call is now increasing. So before it was just a call to a uh, data table. Now it's this DT4 and you can see we're adding data table code. So this is the data table code that these few lines of dplyr code generated. Um, and then there's an ungrouping action that we're going to do at the back end and we'll save this as our mpg summary underscore dt so the advantage here is that we get the data table speed ups uh, which data tables lightning fast uh, it's got the syntax that's a little tough to understand but it's the fastest certainly the fastest data wrangling library and you can see how quickly it produced um, a group by and summarize on multiple columns with multiple functions it's just lightning fast um, but it's still in this data table kind of uh, uh, frame here. And you can see use as data table, as frame, as table to access the results. Uh, you can also use this collect function. We'll, we'll show that here in a second. Uh, what I wanna do though, is I'll show you how to get the query. You can use show query to see what that data table query is. So it's actually good, um, I, I find this interesting. If you are interested in learning data table, sometimes it's better to learn dplyr first and then use packages like this where it shows you the translation so you can start to learn how data table would be coded. Um, and then uh, if we want to grab the data back and collect it back into a tibble, we can use the collect function or we could use as data frame or so on and it'll convert it back. So we've got our tibble here, it's 32 by eight, we've got our summarizations of manufacturers and cylinder and then we've got the the values that we summarize which are mean displacement median displacement and so on um, and then once we have our data uh, the last part and this isn't really deep data table but I like to visualize the results so what we're going to do here is just make a quick uh, heat map 
of our average city fuel mileage by engine size and we can see we've got in here the manufacturer which goes here we've got the engine size which is our cylinder which is four five six and eight and then what i did was i targeted this column i wanted to know the mean by uh, by manufacturer and engine size and we can see here that certainly the smaller engines are more fuel efficient and we can see that some are more fuel efficient than others like this one honda seems to be the most fuel efficient uh, and then as you go over here and increase in the engine size we can see that some engine sizes like uh, the lincoln the land rover uh, these ones tend to be much darker and have a uh, much lower city fuel mileage. Uh, conversely, the Audi uh, actually in the eight cylinder has a, has a fairly high city fuel mileage. So that's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. All right. That concludes this art tip. If you want to learn more, I have a learning lab 13 big data wrangling 4.6 million rows of financial data with data.table. And we also use DT plier in there. Uh, and then also, if you want to learn dplyr, which is essential for doing things like this, the data wrangling, uh, definitely check out weeks three and four of my 101-R course. Um, and also the visualization, I believe, is covered in week four if you want to learn how to do heat maps. All right. I'll see you later.